So here's a bit of an idea for displaying models. Um, say these car conversions that I do, uh, and people put them in cases and things, don't they? So that's a 3.6 volt house phone pack, and we're going to a little circuit there, which is one of Johnny Davro's uh, trigger coils. And basically, that's all it is: is the trigger coil going to a tip one two two, which is underneath the heat sink there. Uh, the tip 122 is the very first, it's exactly the same transistor that I used in first experiments using trigger coils, so I'm quite happy to see that one still working. So anyway, then we're uh, we're out to whatever we want to do with the high voltage. It's pretty good on neons, there's a neon there. As you can see, it lights that up pretty well. That's that, and a purple neon. There we are with the purple. It will actually also run a fluorescent. Uh, here's the lightsaber. There we are. And there you can see it lights up the lightsaber. And in fact the car lights are still on which is huh, a bit of a bonus. So uh, yes, not a bad circuit at all really for what it is and for the running voltage. Um, also of course this little plate here being hot I can touch the car make the lights go even brighter there. So really, as a display idea, yeah, might have potential that. And just to explain the plate system, these are of galvanized steel. One lead comes out of the top of the trigger coil and it goes into the main plate at the top. The plate underneath goes back to the base of the transistor. So what we have between the two plates is simply a piece of paper there which I've just glued to the bottom such that I can put the one on top of the other and it neatens it all up. Okay, thanks for watching.